So 2014 is going to feel like a recovery year for the first time since this recovery began in, in, in the summer of 2009. Uh, what makes this different from the previous years, and we started to see this at the end of 2013. Um, the end of 2013, a couple of things got lined up. Housing started to pick up. Um, that's the primary thing. Uh, the Fed program of buying $85 billion of long-term bonds, particularly mortgage securities, a month. Uh, that was really starting to take hold in the economy. So the second half of 2013, we started to see this take place. We started to see the economy grow at a little bit faster pace. But more importantly, in the second half of 2013, but more in, in also in 2014, and why this is going to feel like a really good year, is because it isn't the growth isn't isolated to a few sectors. It's going to be broad-based across all of the sectors. So all of our 15 sectors in the state will actually see growth in 20, uh, 2014. So that's really going to be a change from what we've seen in the last three and a half years of recovery. That's the biggest difference in terms of the broad-based nature of the growth in the economy. Um, we'll add 60,000 jobs uh, this year, pretty close to what we added in 2013. Uh, the big news in 2013 uh, was not just the second half growth picking up tremendously. You know, we had a terrible first quarter, pretty decent second quarter, and then pretty solid growth in the third and fourth quarter of 2013. But the big issue was what we saw take place was a dramatic change in the state's unemployment rate during 2013. We started the year at 9.5%, okay? basically a little more than a point and a half, percentage point and a half above the U.S. rate, okay? uh, which was just a little above 7% at the time. Both rates have come down, but the big increase or the big decline has been in the North Carolina rate, so that at the end of the year, when the U.S. rate's now down to 6.7%, which is pretty low, mm -hmm. uh, given where we've been for the last five years, mm -hmm. uh, North Carolina's rate should be right at around 7%, just slightly higher than the U.S. rate for the first time uh, in the last three and a half to four years, where we've been consistently a percentage point and a half higher than the U.S. rate. The other second thing that occurred as a result of our unemployment rate coming down dramatically during 2013 was that we also went from, in the middle of the year, being the, first, the third highest state unemployment rate in the country. Mm -hmm. Only two states had worse unemployment rates than we did mm -hmm. in, uh, in July of 2013. And now we're like 15th worst. Uh, and probably sometime in 2014 we'll be in the middle of the pack. Um, as we expect unemployment rates to continue to come down, U.S. rate, probably another percentage point or more during 2014. Same thing with the North Carolina rate. So we could be in the low 6% range or maybe even the high 5% range by the end of 2014 uh, if everything turns out the way we expect it to turn out. So that's been the really big difference. And I think people are a little caught off guard by that. I think that a lot of folks are thinking that somehow or other this unemployment rate is primarily caused by dropping out of labor force by discouraged workers. And that's not the case at all. Uh, yes, we've had people leave the labor force, but it's not because of discouraged worker syndrome. It's primarily because the baby boomers retiring. That's been the fundamental, for the last two years, that's been the fundamental cause of the decline in the labor force participation rate and people dropping out of the labor force. Uh, and as a result of that, um, you know, that's part of why the unemployment rate's gone down, but it's for a completely different reason than some kind of thought that there's a weak economy that's not job producing or something along those lines. Really not the case. It's just simply, here come the baby boomers. 76 million baby boomers are now starting to retire. The oldest ones are 67 years old. Um, the bulk of them are in their late 50s and early 60s. And as we, this is something we're going to be living with for the next 10 to 15 years. Uh, the big impact that baby boomers are going to, their retirement is going to have on labor markets. So, you know, that's part of what's been going on here. So going forward in 2014, uh, we'll see about 3% overall GDP growth. And we'll also see probably another 60,000 jobs being created. And we'll see the unemployment rate probably come down to close to another percentage point over the course of the year.